So welcome again to this particular session and in the last two, two or three session or four or five session, I don't remember exactly how many sessions so far, but we were discussing the what we call accounting treatment and three treatments we have seen. Of course, right now we are visualizing the various options when bill is honored, correct? So three options we have already gone through and this is the, uh, um, uh, this is, uh, the fourth option. The fourth option is, first of all, you need to know that first option happens to be when bill is retained, second when discounted, and third when endorsed, and now the fourth one, when bill is sent, when bill is sent for collection. When bill is sent for collection to the bank, <coughs> so often drawer what he does actually, he simply sends the bill to the bank and asks the bank to collect the bill on his behalf. And bank provides the services, of course bank will charge some commission for the same but this is one of the services offered by bank so uh, their clients can what we call give their bills to the bank and on the maturity date bank will collect the bill on behalf of the client or the drawer in this case to under understand this particular concept we pick up uh, what we call case problem six now and we have done so far fifth one i think so this is case study six Case study 6. What does the case study states? Case study states that on 1st of October 2020, X2 sells goods to Y2. In this case, on 1st of October 2020, X2 sells the goods to Y2. He sells to Y2 and sells goods for rupees 5 lakhs on this particular date. Correct? On the same date, Y accepted a bill drawn upon him by X2 at 2 months. So on this date, Y2 accepts the bill and sends it to what we call X2. Now X2 retains the bill till the maturity before we calculate the maturity date tenure of the bill is two months tenure of the bill is two months which means their maturity date must be 110 2020 at two months you will reach first of december 2020 you add three days of grace so your maturity date will become 4th of December. <coughs> Sorry. X2 retains the bill till the maturity date and on the due date sends the bill to the banker. So on this date, bill is still held by X2 but on this date he sends the bill to the bank for collection and in due course, X2 receives the information from the bank that bill has been duly met. So bank has collected on behalf of X2. So entries, not very tough, same entries almost, 1-10-2020, first of all, we shall write the entry in the books of X, books of X2, correct? X2 is the seller, he is the drawer, he sells the goods to Y2, first entry for sales, Y2 account debit to sales account, correct, that is 5 lakhs. Sale of goods, sale of goods. Then, on the same date, we received a bill, BR account debit to Y2 account. 
bill amount is of course 5 lakh so you shall write 5 lakh br received then bill is sent for collection bill is sent for collection on 4th of 12 2020 correct so when bill will be sent for collection x2 will write the entry in fact he will open an account known as bill sent for collection account bill sent for collection account it is considered as a personal account remember one thing it is considered as a personal account correct bill sent for collection is a personal account and you are sending your br so 5 lakh worth of bill now has been given to bank so bill in fact br sent to bank for collection for collection correct next entry now bank will collect the amount when bank will collect the amount bank will write bank account debit actually this bank account reflects the account of x2 account of x2 which is in the bank correct so bank will receive the money and deposit the money in the bank account of x2 so bank account here means account of x2 in the bank so 5 lakh rupees collected and deposited bank account debit to bills sent for collection amount received or bill collected whatever you may like to write not very tough simple isn't it similarly now y2 will write the entries books of y2 y2 is the purchaser on 1st of october 2020 he purchases goods purchases account debit purchases account debit <coughs> he purchases goods from x2 5 lakh worth of goods have been purchased correct purchase of goods then on this date he accepts the bill so entry will be x2 account debit accepts the bill it means after signing the bill he is returning the bill to x2 bill accepted now no corresponding entry will be done in the books of y2 with respect to bill sent for collection by the drawer when drawer will send the bill for collection y will not pass any entry against the same isn't it or not however now on the maturity date y2 will pass the entry that is 4th of december 2020 his bills payable will come back to him and to cash that is 5 lakh 5 lakhs correct bill honored 
so these are the four options which are available with the drawer and we have seen what we call entries with respect to this four options when bill is honored on the due date but there is every possibility that bill might not be honored then what we would do so now in the next accounting part dishonor of bill we are picking up dishonor of bill dishonor of bill means when drawer or the party goes to the drawee on the maturity date to what we call get back their cash drawee is not in a position to pay the cash or drawee fails to pay the cash or drawee fails to honor the bill then it is known as dishonor of bill suppose bill is retained by me i am the drawer i had drawn the bill and i retained it till the maturity date so on the maturity date when i ask the drawee to pay back my money and if drawee fails then it will be known as dishonor of bill likewise it could be a possibility that i might have had discounted the bill now on the maturity date bank will what we call approach drawee and if drawee fails again it is dishonor of bill simple words when on the maturity date drawee fails to meet the bill that is known as dishonor of bill now that there is a problem suppose bill was retained by me correct till the maturity date and on the maturity date i goes to what we call drawee and ask him to pay back the money and if drawee due to some or other reason actually fails to do so then of course i will not receive the money in accounting language it will be termed as dishonor of bill but here one problem is there if somebody who has to give my money simply says says he is not in a position to do he is he is not going to pay me would i sit idle definitely i am going to take some action but in order to take the action i will have to take a legal process now when i presented the bill to the drawee on the maturity date and drawee fails then of course it is dishonorment of bill but the proof but the onus onus means the burden but the onus or the proof that i did not receive the money will have to be given by me that means the person who holds the bill it is the duty of that person to prove that he did not receive the money it is not the duty of the drawee to tell that he did not pay the money why he will do that so it is the duty and the onus of what we call that uh, drawer or the person who holds the bill it is the duty of the drawer or the holder of the bill uh, to prove that they did not receive the money so on the maturity date when i did not receive the money i will have to prove to the law that i did not receive the money so in order to prove the law what i will do i will go to a qualified person that is known as notary n o t a r y correct notary people sometimes say Uh, so notary i will ask the notary to note down this fact that i did not receive the money so notary in a what we call stamp papered what we call paper will note down the facts that this person did not receive the money in spite of his best efforts when notary notices down these facts it is known as noting and of course he is going to charge something for the same so all in all it will be known as noting charges so you must understand that when bill is dishonored it is the duty of that person who is holding the bill on the maturity date to prove that he did not receive the money and in order to prove he needs to get the facts noted and for the same he will, he will have to pay some charges known as noting charges is it clear to you or not so noting charges will be paid by the party who was supposed to receive the money but could not receive the money because of default made by the drawee so dishonor of bill so we will see the cases of dishonor of bill of course under all the options correct so now we are presuming in all the cases that on the maturity date bill did not realize correct so first option when bill is retained till maturity that mean drawer retains the bill when 
drawer retains the bill till maturity so in order to understand this let us say on 112020 f1 sells goods to f2 correct f2 and he draws a bill on f2 which is accepted by uh, f2 and return back to f1 so br on 1120 is received correct the example goes like that that f1 sells goods to f2 on 11 2020 and draws a bill let us say bill is of 3 months Now, if bill is of three three months, then one one two thousand twenty. We will add three months, and we will add three days, three grace days. So ultimately, our maturity date will be four four two thousand twenty. Let us say on this date, bill dishonored. Bill was retained, but bill dishonored. Drawer. retains the bill till 442020 but bill is dishonored correct let us say drawer pays notary charges drawer means f1 f1 pays notary charges Of rupees one thousand. Okay, make it ten thousand. However, it is a big amount. Very small amount is generally charged. And let us say F one sells the goods to F two for rupees five lakhs. So this is the question. Correct. Now in this case, what entry drawer will make? when bill is retained by him till the maturity date but bill is dishonored so first of all books of f1 f1 is the drawer one one 2020 the entry will be first of all for sale of goods we are selling the goods to f2 F2 is our data because we are supposed to take the money from him goods are being sold to him so 5 lakh worth of goods have been sold so we are supposed to receive 5 lakh from Mr F2 sale of goods this entry is for sale of goods correct on this date we draw a bill which is accepted and returned back to us br account debit to f1 account sorry f2 account so 5 lakh worth of bill has been accepted has been accepted mean he has signed and returned back to us so br received b are received now we will reach the maturity date that is 4th of april 2020 on this date bill is not honored so when bill will not be honored first of all you think if bill would have been honored what would have been the entry 
a bill would have been honored you would have received the cash you would have written cash account debit to br account that mean on the maturity date you will have to return the bill to the drawee so to br you are going to write at at any cost whether the bill is honored or dishonored because br will move out of your fold correct so 5 lakh worth of bill will move out but the point is that if you would have received the amount you would have written cash account debit but you are not receiving the amount because you are not receiving the amount you will again debit f2 f2 is your data correct it means whenever the bill will be dishonored remember this rule whenever the bill will be dishonored the drawer will debit the data data is the person to whom he has sold the to whom he had sold the goods and from he has to receive the money so f2 is the data and he is going to actually debit f2 because we did not receive any money from f2 so we will debit him again so once again he will become our data is it clear to you at this amount we will receive from him in future with some new agreement is it clear to you or not so simple rule in this case first of all we are analyzing when bill is held till maturity but problem is there now we are not going to debit him with rupees 5 lakh because we also paid a paid notary charges of 10000 you remember so the new bill will be worth rupees 5 lakh 10000 new bill will be worth rupees 5 lakh 10000 why new bill will be of rupees 5 lakh 10000 because you paid noting charges are you getting my point or not so this time the new bill you are going to debit f2 with 5 lakh 10000 rather than 5 lakh and you will write here two noting charges that mean now you have to receive from f2 5 lakh 10000 5 lakh for the earlier amount and 10000 for the noting charges which you paid because it was your duty to prove that you could not actually realize the money is it clear to you or not now we will move over to books of f2 books of f2 what entries f2 is going to pass f2 is the drawee 112020 he has purchased the goods so obviously he is going to debit purchases account no doubt about that purchases account debit correct two purchases account debit 2 f1 he has purchased the goods from f1 so 5 lakh 5 lakhs purchase of goods correct on the same date he accepts a bill he accepts a bill means he signed the bill and returned it to f1 f1 account debit to bills payable account that is 5 lakh bill accepted for for 2020 bills payable will come back to him 5 lakh worth of bills payable is coming back to him are you getting my point or not 
now noting charges which were actually paid noting charges were actually paid by f1 drawer but ultimately those noting charges will be recovered by the drawer so that is why noting charges is a sort of loss to the drawy noting charges see remember one thing noting charges actually paid by drawer but he will recover 10000 from what we call drawy so that is why drawy will debit noting charges 10000 that mean now drawy will pass this entry bills payable account debit noting charges account debit to what we call f1 account if bill would have been honored he would have written two cash but he did not pay the bill so once again f1 will become creditor of what we call f2 so 5 lakh 10000 so new bill as you can see is worth rupees 5 lakh 10000 correct bill dishonored entry in the books of drawy in all the cases will remain same as far as this owner is concerned is it clear to you or not <coughs> now suppose bill is discounted option 2 option 2 now we are picking up when bill is discounted when bill is discounted and dishonored on the maturity date dishonored on the maturity date correct to understand this let us write an example on 11 2020 w1 sells goods worth rupees 5 lakhs to w2 w1 draws a bill draws a bill which was accepted by w2 accepted by w2 on the same date on the same date W1 gets the bill discounted get the bill discounted discounting charges discounting charges amounted to rupees 10000 on the maturity date on 
on the maturity date. That is fourth of April two thousand twenty. W two failed to meet the bill. Fail to meet the bill means fail to honor the bill. Fail to meet the bill. Now in this question, it is given to you that on one one two thousand twenty we sold goods. W one so sells the goods, and he also receives the bill on this date, and he also gets the bill discounted on this date. That means bill this time is discounted on this date itself, and discounting charges is given to you. So bill is discounted on this date. When bill is discounted on this date, it means on the date of maturity, bill is not in the hands of W one. On the maturity date, bill is in the hands of the bank. Actually, maturity date is given to you fourth of April two thousand twenty. Now on fourth of April two thousand twenty, because bill is in the hands of the bank, so bank will have to go to. In fact, bank will have to approach W two, and when W two will not honor the bill, bank will try to recover the amount from W one because W one discounted the bill from the bank, and bank has paid the money to W one already. So on maturity date, when bank will not receive the money from W two, to whom bank is going to actually hold liable for? of course bank is going to what we call hold the w1 as the liable and will ask them to what we call honor this bill so when bill is dishonored correct so we shall have to pass the entry we also presume bank pays notary charges bank pays notary charges of 10000 why bank will pay the notary charges because on the maturity date bill was in the hands of the bank because bank paid notary charges of 10000 bank will not recover this amount now from w2 but bank is going to recover entire amount from w1 is it clear to you so now in this case what will be the entry so first of all we shall write the entry in the books of w One books of W one. In the books of W one, my entry will be one one two thousand twenty. First entry: sale of goods. W two account debit. Two sales account. Amount is actually five lakhs. correct sale of goods on this date you are going to receive a bill also br account debit 2 w2 account 5 lakh 5 lakh you will write here br received you get the bill discounted on this date itself so on this date itself that mean on 110 in fact 11 2020 you get the bill discounted your entry will be bank account debit you will not receive 5 lakh you will receive 4 lakh 90 because bank charged 10000 known as discounting charges
So discounting charges in this case rupees ten thousand. Now this BR will be given to the bank five lakhs discounting of bills. Now you will reach the maturity date 4-4-2020. If bill would have been honored, then you would not have passed any entry because amount would have been received by the bank and not by you. But problem is that bill is not honored on this date. Because bill is not honored, so bank is not going to receive any money and bank is going to ask from you to actually, bank is going to actually ask you to pay. Is it clear to you? So, in this case, because bill is not honor or not honored on the due date, we will have to pass the entry because now bank is asking from us. Bank is not receiving any money, so bank is going to actually hold us liable for the same. So, what entry we are going to pass? Just a moment ago, I did say that whenever the bill would get what we call dishonored, in that particular case, at any cost, in the books of drawer, Data. Data means drawy actually. From the perspective of the drawer, drawy is data. You are going to debit the data account that is drawy account. Drawy is W2. He will again become your data. But how much bank is going to ask the money from you? Because bank paid notary charges also, so bank will ask you to pay to the bank. 5 lakh plus 10,000. So you will recover 5 lakh 10,000 from W2 because you will have to pay, you means W1 will have to pay to the bank 5 lakh 10,000 because bank did not receive the amount of bill from W2. So bank is going to actually W1 and will tell them the entire story. You got the bill discounted from us, but W2 did not pay us, so you please pay us 5 lakh plus the noting charges which we paid. So W1 will have to pay to bank 5 lakh 10,000, but now W1 will debit W2 because W1 will recover now from W2 5 lakh 10,000. So W2 account debit to BR account to 2 bank account 5 lakh 10,000. Please try to understand this point once again. In this case, what is happening? W1 is the drawer of the bill. W2 is the drawee. Correct? We received the bill. Unfortunately, we discounted the bill. We discounted the bill. We discounted the bill. Because we discounted the bill, now this bill is in the hands of the bank on the maturity date. On the maturity date, bank goes to W2 and asks them to pay the money. W2 failed. Because W2 failed to pay, so bank will have to prove that they did not receive money. For the same, they will have to pay noting charges of 10,000. They paid noting charges of 10,000. Then only it will be proved that bank did not receive the money. Now bank will take this bill to W2 and ask W1. Sorry, bank now will take this bill to W1 and ask W1 to pay them 5 lakh amount of bill plus the 10,000. 
so this entry means this entry is being made in the books of w1 this entry means w1 is supposed to recover 5 lakh 10000 from w2 and he has to pay that amount to bank 5 lakh 10000 because you can see liability on w1 with respect to bank is 5 lakh 10000 so this and this dishonor entry shows that w1 is supposed to receive 5 lakh 10000 from w2 and this amount is payable to bank 5 lakh 10000 correct so dishonor or bill this honor of bill so this is the entry you got my point or not and now books of w1 sorry books of w2 draw now we go over to w2 1 1 2020 w2 purchases goods purchases account debit purchases account debit that is 5 lakh 2 w1 account we purchased goods worth rupees 5 lakhs this entry is for purchase of goods on 1 1 2020 we accepted a bill so w1 account debit to bills payable account accepted means we signed the bill and returned to w2 so we have given a written promise now that we will pay back you 5 lakh this bill is discounted but we are not going to pass any corresponding entry with respect to discount however on the maturity date one thing is clear our bills payable will come back to us our bills payable was worth rupees 5 lakh it will come back to us it is a surety whether bill is honored or dishonored correct but bill is not honored because if it would have been honored i would have simply returned two cash but it is not honored so now my liability has gone up by ten thousand five lakh plus noting charges because the party which paid noting charges is will recover this amount from you directly or indirectly so noting charges is a loss for you ten thousand now five lakh ten thousand worth of amount you are supposed to give not to the bank now but to w1 so that is why i said in case of dishonor in all the cases entry in the books of draw will remain same bills payable account debit noting charges if any debit to creditor account creditor mean w1 is creditor for w2 so w1 is supposed to pay to sorry w2 is supposed to pay to w1 5 lakh 10 thousand so this will be the entry as far as w2 is concerned is it clear to you or not i hope it is cleared so in the next session when we'll meet we'll talk something more on this aspect correct